Okay, I got a Zecti ZT050 video light in front of me here. A company sent to me to test out. And I've run her through the ropes and I really like this. I'm going to probably end up using this for my main video light. Now, number one, just to get it started, it says there's 216 LEDs in the thing, but I've only counted 14 with eight rows, so that's 112, unless I'm missing something here. But needless to say, it's still awesome. It's putting out 12 watts. It's running 3200K and adjustable up to 5600K, which is awesome and 1500 lumens we might take this outside and put it on a tripod and just shine it around and see but i really like this light now it doesn't come with a ton of stuff with it other than a cold or hot shoe adapter with the quarter 20 thread on the bottom and then you can screw this into the quarter 20 female plug in the bottom to mount it on any camera or tripod and it does not come with a battery which at first I was like, well, that kind of sucks, but one, it does come with a very decent uh, up to a 15 volt, one amp power supply. And this cord on here is 12 feet long. So you got well more than enough cord. Now it does say in the back, it will take a MP F550 or 570 and that worked good because my video monitor, I already have them batteries. Actually, I got a few of them and I went ahead and ordered other ones and they're very cheap on eBay or Amazon where you can get the charger and a battery. And that enables me to use this light on the go. And if you notice in the back here, we'll run quick run through the features it has. Of course, your DC input. You got your high and low right here. And basically to power it on, I think I have it turned down actually. That's low beam and there's high beam. But everything's digital. You got your mode, you can turn your Kelvin up from like 3200 to 5600K. Okay, I was at 3200. We're going to start brightening her up. There's 5600. I like running that down. There's the brightness. If you notice, we're at up to 9900. This thing is just wicked bright. It's unreal. And you don't have to hit that other button to turn it down. We're going to turn that back down. That's as low as it goes. And you got your, which you won't be able to see there unless I change my exposure. You know what, I'm going to do that quick. You got the exposure adjusted. And as you can see there, there's the low beam and the high beam. Pretty neat. Jesus. There's high beam and then you got low beam. So that's what happens when you're switching it. Pretty deep. There isn't a lot else to say about this other than it is very rugged and really, really like it. We're going to get that mounted and I'll finish up the showing you it. We're going to go outside and crank this up just to show you how much light output it does have. Battery life seems quite long. Like I said, I think I bought two of these batteries in the charger for like $15 or maybe $20. Pretty neat. Get her mounted up, see how she does. All right, so we're going to run a little test. We're outside and I got this light out on a tripod and we're going to crank her up. That's on high. Look at that. And I got my yard lights running as well with the video light, and that is without the video light and with the video light. Quite bright. Let's turn down the lux. It gives you more of a yellow cast. Pretty nice. On, off. Works pretty good. 
just to give you an idea. Let's throw a camera or something up here. That is the Dark Knight lens on a Sony A7S. Just wicked. Hook that video light up. Got her mounted there. I'm going to run the tripod adapter on the bottom. Get it turned on. That is on low, and I'm running a very bright halogen downlight right now, plus a LED ceiling light. That's on high beam. That is all the way up. Just floods beautiful amount of light in, as you can see there. Pretty awesome. So there you go. The Zecti video light. Very portable and rugged. And has an awesome amount of adjustments. Low beam. High beam. 3200K. 5600K. Pretty neat.